I'm Louie. For the past three years, I've been living nomadically and by my own rules. First, I started off in this van. Then I built out this van. And now I'm starting a new adventure in this Jeep. Follow along as I build out a new vehicle, learn how to off-road, and take you along for all of my adventures. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you to all of my patrons and an extra special thank you to the following supporters. Hey guys, welcome to more PNW Forest Days. Uh, we are currently in the Willamette uh, National Forest. And yeah, um, it's been really weird not being with my mom. Um, normally, yeah, we're together like all the time, doing stuff together and yeah, it's been very strange being on my own. But I really feel like through all of this, it's given me a lot of time to reflect and yeah, being alone is really good. <laughs> and it's given me a lot of time to reflect on what this past year has been and yeah, where I want to go moving forward and so yeah, I hope you're enjoying this time in the forest. The PNW is by far one of my most favorite places in the entire world. It's just so lush, so green, there's rivers and waterfalls and so many forests over here, so many and yeah, we're really enjoying it. We are at a trailhead now and we're gonna just go on a little hike and enjoy some of the beauty and see how fast the river is flowing right now because all of the snow is melting up in the mountains near here. And yeah, that river is looking powerful lately. So thank you for joining me for another video and I'm so happy you're here. And yeah, I hope that this video can be a nice escape from your day-to-day -day life and nature vibes. <laughs> Let's go on a hike. corny but when I see some of these trees sometimes I'm just like how is it that they have been here for this long like some of these I'm pretty sure have been here for at least a hundred years and I don't know I always think about like what they have seen you know what how many people have they seen walk on this trail and I don't know it's really cool trees are really magical <sighs> And they make the air so fresh. <sighs> yep, that's all I had to say. <laughs> it's very, very cliche, but it's very, very corny, but I don't know. That's why I like hiking so much, to be with the trees. Hey, good morning, everyone. Don't mind my crusty campness, my camp crust. But this is the next morning. It's really nice sitting at this paid campground. I don't normally stay at paid campgrounds, but I was feeling really exhausted, just like nervous about going up mountain roads and things like that without any way to like contact anyone. 
I really, really need to get an inReach like very soon. Um, but those are very, very expensive, so I'm waiting until I have the funds for that. But yeah, I really need to get an inReach so I can do that stuff and feel safer about it. But came to this National Forest Campground, and if you have an interagency pass, um, you get 50% off. Um, so it only cost me $20 for two nights here, which in my opinion wasn't bad. I had access to the bathroom, trash can, water, and this beautiful view. I'm really excited because we're going to be meeting up with my mom in two days. So we'll be back with her. I'm a travel buddy. It's so weird when you're used to traveling with somebody and you're not with them. You're like, well, this is weird empty. Although I really have been enjoying my alone time. Um, I'm ready to move more north and to get our summer travel going. finding dispersed camping in national forests and on public land um, and you feel nervous about it and uh, this is always a great option they're usually pretty affordable especially with the parks pass but yeah you can always guarantee that there'll be people around and safe roads to drive and amenities and things like that sometimes they have showers too that would be so nice right now but <laughs> this one doesn't um, so yeah I highly recommend it that water is flowing. All that snow melt. I wanna go river rafting one day. Trash cans. It's water. This is the area. Over there is Eugene, Oregon. You come up all through here, the Mackenzie River. And we are here, Mackenzie Bridge. But there's a lot of campsites along here. So much beauty. Wanted to go do that hike yesterday, but eh. And there's a hot spring up here, I think, that we're gonna go to today. Yeah, so this is a really cute little quiet campground. And yeah, it's chill. I got the spot all by myself, all the way at the end of the campground. <laughs> but it's not bad if you're looking for a comfy camping route. There's all sorts of camping types of camping you can do. So I've been reflecting a lot lately about my almost three years um, on the road living in vehicles and all of that and how much I've changed. And I've been thinking a lot of, about things that I, perspective shifts that I've made since getting on the road and I really wanted to share some of those with you guys because I feel like they're not as obvious as you would think they would be and that before you get on the road you might have these perspectives already but I think over time you have like major life ideal and perspective shifts that you don't usually think would happen and not to say that this would be like what everybody ends up experiencing but I just wanted to share my thoughts on like the things that have really changed for me in my mind. The first thing that I have really learned um, being on the road and living in multiple different vehicles is that you have to have patience. Patience, patience, patience all the time because living in a vehicle for one is not easy obviously. Number two, things don't always go perfectly and you might not be able to find a spot to park for the night very easily or just the fact that like everything that you do takes like extra longer when you're doing it out of a vehicle especially this type of vehicle i've noticed um doing dishes takes extra long um cooking takes feels like it takes extra long because i have to set everything up and all of that yeah you also have to have a lot of patience with yourself because some days you might wake up and you're like why am i doing this and um, be patient with yourself really allow yourself to explore yourself if that makes sense <laughs> One really big thing for me was a lot of the things that I thought I needed, 
I actually don't need and looking back at how I started in the beginning and all of the things that I brought with me that weren't necessary like at all it's really interesting to see how now I feel like I can live with very little and I think it's kind of cool that you actually really don't need much at all and more recently after doing this cross-country trip kind of thing with my mom I realized that life is very complicated but it's also very simple i think seeing how other people live in this country specifically um can be really interesting it can really show you that you can live on either side of the spectrum in life you can live a very simple life where you work just a simple job and you have very little but and be happy or you can live a more complicated life with more money and things and all of that and I think traveling and seeing how so many different people live and how there are so many different like types of neighborhoods and, and cultures and all of that has really helped me see that. And then the last thing that I've really been thinking a lot about recently is that the world is really big but it's also really small. For example, in this country, it takes time to get from one side to other, the other, but the fact that we can do that in a car or a vehicle with like four wheels, people even, heck, people even freaking bike or walk across the country. The fact that we can do that makes me feel like the world isn't really all that big. I don't know if that makes sense. But then on the other side of that is the fact that you can travel for so long and still not see everything is also interesting. So yeah, it's been a really interesting three years and time has gone by really, really quickly and it's really, really just interesting reflecting on how much your perspective can change when you put yourself outside of your comfort zone and um, start to do things differently than you have done before and yeah, I don't know, it's really cool. <laughs> Alright, back in the Jeep after hanging out at the hot spring. I met some really nice people. It's been a really long time since I've just randomly met people um, just doing stuff. So that was really nice. And um, one of the people told me about this cool place that we're gonna go right now. It's called Blue Pool. And he said that it a bunch of the water gets filtered through lava rocks. And so it is like really pristine blue water. So we're gonna go there, change, and then yeah. William got cuddles from strangers, <laughs> but it was very beautiful. I just am amazed at the power of the river out here. It's real fast. We're near old volcanic stuff because look at how porous these rocks are. They're getting more and more porous the higher we go. Oh, it's a little bit too much. We face so much trouble in this life, but not enough to declare war on love. You know they should have told us. So you see when you Thanks, random guy I met at a hot spring. <laughs> this is really cool. I would have never known this was here. Dang. That's why I guess you gotta talk to people around you. <laughs> Almost forgot my prized possession of a walking stick. <laughs> that would have been bad. All right, we are back in the Jeep. We just ate some quesadillas 
that I just cooked up real quick here in the parking lot. And yeah, we're headed back out. We'll head back to the city because William has a vet appointment tomorrow. He's gotta get all his shots renewed and stuff. So that's what we're going to be doing. It got real co cold here real quick. Ooh, I'm ready to turn the heat on and chill out with William and yeah, blue pool, very cool. Definitely was worth the little detour. Um, wouldn't have really been doing anything that interesting anyways, but <laughs> head back. So I think this is gonna be it for the exploration through this forest for now. Um, for the time being until we come back down south, but chill spot, chill spot. Mm -hmm.